In this video we are going to break up this concrete base. This base used to be covered by a conservatory but that has been removed and now the base needs removing. You can see at the corner that we have had an exploratory dig to see how thick the concrete is. If you are thinking that perhaps you could do this using a normal breaker, well you probably could do but it would take a long time. Anyway, for this job we need something a little bit bigger. I'm now on the HSS website to see what breakers they have available. They seem to have a few and so I'll telephone my nearest branch which is in the next town. I have arranged to collect a Hilti TE2000 AVR. This is a great piece of kit and only weighs about 15 kg so it's light enough to be used all day. This came supplied with a trolley, a chisel and a point. Before using it we're just going to apply some silicone grease to the end of it before pulling back the collar and inserting the point into the machine. Before breaking any concrete you are going to need some PPE or personal protective equipment. You will need steel toe cap boots, goggles, a dust mask, gloves and ear defenders. You can get an optional dust extraction unit for some breakers. This breaker is 110 volt, so you will need a transformer. It's also important that people nearby wear PPE as the bits of concrete and tile can travel a considerable distance. From start to finish it took just over two hours to break up the base completely. I'll speed the video up in places to make it a bit more interesting. There are two of us breaking up this base, so you might see the pants and footwear change when the other person is having a break. I've reduced the volume of the breaker for your viewing pleasure. We are starting at the edge and working backwards, breaking the concrete into small bits as we go. If you try to break off too large of a piece, or if you try starting in the middle, there is a chance that you will get the point or chisel stuck. Because the tiles are still on top of the concrete, we're going to have to break through those, then the concrete, as it is impossible to remove them. This concrete is approximately five to six inches deep and is roughly 10 square meters. Because this breaker is only 15 kilogram, it is very easy to use but there is no need to press down on it, just let the machine do the work. This is much easier to use than a pneumatic version, which you often see being used by road workers. You will notice that this concrete is not steel reinforced. If it is, you will also need an angle grinder. We originally started off using the point, but as we moved closer to the house, the concrete was easier to break, and so we then used the chisel. It's best to experiment using the point and the chisel to see which works best for you. Now we are getting close to the French doors, it is a good idea to put something there to protect them. So, some bits of plywood are being taped in position. You may now notice that the concrete is breaking up much easier. This is probably due to the mix of the concrete. If you look at the right hand side you can see that the concrete is grey which indicates it has the correct amount of cement in the mix but to the left of the picture the concrete is slightly red 
indicating that there is less cement and more sand in that mix. In a future video I'll show how this was removed and moved to a skip which is not as easy as you might think. Before taking this back, I want to clean it by vacuuming out the ventilation slots and then by wiping it down with a wipe or a damp cloth. Never use chemicals as it might damage the breaker. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.